Alrighty, I'm back. I just wanted to show you something really quick. Um, these tires that these truck comes with aren't very good to start off with, you know what I mean? Kind of a hard rubber. It's really not up to par yet. This one, I've already wore it down. It's a lot softer. It's like I'm putting in a lot more pressure to push this one down and this one's taking minimal pressure and it just goes down a lot easier. I did the ones in the front, the back right here. <clears throat> and they're a lot squishier than what they came, but I still am not, I'm not satisfied. So I'm taking them off and I'm going to wear them out a little more. And the way you wear them out, the way I've been wearing them out, is and it takes like about an hour to do this. It took about an hour to do the the one set, the front set. And so I'm going to take another hour of my life probably. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but I don't want to sacrifice the look and the height of the tire and width. I like this look. I'm going to stick with it, but I'm going to make it softer. Right now, they're, dang, they're pretty hard, but as you can see... I made this one real soft and I'm going to make it softer and the way you do it, <clears throat> the way I did it was as I just bend it in all different angles and every pit of its, you know what I mean, just bend it throughout the entire tread. This was another way I did it too, kind of do that little fashion with it and kind of just rotate it like that. That's one way you do it. And, and then the important thing is to get that sidewall worn out too so that it squishes more. You know, so you just spin them. I'm rotating them right now. I don't know if you can, can hardly tell, but the tire is rotating in its little squishy mode or whatever. And I'm just doing that to the tire until it gets really worn out and soft. <clears throat> and you might think that it's just probably warming up or something like that. And it's getting soft from the movement of it. And then if I leave it alone for a while and I come back to it, it's going to be hard again. That's not the case. It does get worn out. And it is a lot softer than it was before. I mean, so you basically get your, you start off with your, your uh, new tire and you just get the sidewall. And you just bend every little bit of this tire. I mean, every little square centimeter or millimeter of the tire has to get worn. You can tug it a little bit. I wouldn't recommend squeeze, pulling on the tire like side to side like that. No, just bend it like that and get every little bit of that tire worn out <clears throat> so you can get a lot softer tire and maybe more grip and you can improve your climbing and so yeah that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm working on this I'll work on this truck's tires later that's gonna take another two hours so I'm gonna sit here and I don't know if it'll take quite an hour but I'm gonna wear, wear, wear it out some more as long as it takes to get that tire back to the way or back to however however I want it to be I mean I want it to be a lot squishier than it is so you can do all kinds of methods I get my tire tire in a bind like that and just give it the death squish and do all kinds of crazy things so yeah that's basically what I did to make my tires about twice or more softer than what they are already so yeah gonna work on these ones oops so, yep. Cool.